Hello everyone, it's Ride Effect. Today we are going to take a look at the projects that led up to T14 Armata. Because, like all great things, Armata didn't just come out of nowhere. There have been projects with similar idea long before they have been perfected to T14 Armata as we know today. So, let's start. First, we have Object 450, or more commonly known as T74, a project from early 70s. It was designed by Russian designer Alexander Morozov, the man who revolutionized a lot of things in tank warfare. He was the head designer of many Soviet tanks, including the T-34 and T-64. This project in particular gave perspective on the advantages of crew being placed in the hull and having a remotely operated turret. Morozov wrote about it in his diary. But here's a quick sum up. Dimensions are in par with the T-64, but with reduced weight. Improvements and condition for the crew. Overall design is simplified. Decrease in price for both production and usage, and improvements in protection and battle readiness. The tank was supposed to have the crew placed in the forward hull compartment, isolated from ammo and engine compartment. The mobility was really good at 23 horsepower per ton, the tank could reach maximum speed of 70 km per hour, both forward and reverse, something we also have with Armata, where Armata can reach 90 km per hour in both ways as well. Everything was fine, but the project was way too advanced for the technology of that time, so it was cancelled, but gave a better view on the future tank improvements. Next, we have two projects developed relatively at the same time. The Object 490A Buntar, developed at the Kharkov plant, the one where Morozo worked, and Object 299, which was developed by Leningrad Kiro plant. But let's first take a look at Buntar, since it's less important, how to say. The tank entered development in 1982. It didn't really feature a separate crew compartment, but its mention has to do with something else. The crew was indeed stationed in the hull only, but the commander and gunner were under the turret, while driver was in the forward hull compartment. But the thing is, the idea about this tank was to make front armor extremely thick, something we can see on Armata, and the engine had 1500 horsepower. In 1985 the tank got improved with 152mm 280-73 gun and a new fire control system. It was renamed to Object 477 Boxer and later Object 477A Mollet. The gun was a predecessor of a new 2A8352 mm gun, the one Armata should get in the near future. The gun that was tested on another project, which will also be mentioned in this video. Now, the Object 299. This is also a project from the 80s, but the thing about this one is that it was the same idea as Armata, to create an universal combat platform for future vehicles. This one, like Armata, features an isolated crew compartment with all-around protection, with the only difference being that the engine was in front. The tank was to be armed with 152mm gun in a remotely operated turret. The tank's max speed was going to be 90 km per hour, using a gas turbine engine with 1500 horsepower, with potential upgrade to 2000 horsepower, similar to Armata, where only difference is that Armata uses diesel engine instead of gas turbine. And last but not least, um, quite the contrary, the Object 195. This one comes from late 80s, under the Improvement 88 program, it was developed by Ural Wagon Zavod. Same company that developed Armata and features many similarities with modern Armata. The complete hull design is completely the same as the one of Armata, both externally and internally. The crew was to be placed in isolated crew compartment with all-around protection and a remotely operated turret, this time with a new 152mm 2A82 gun, the one Armata should be getting. The tank also featured X layout engine with 1500 horsepower, something also featured on Armata. Also, as object 490A, the frontal armor was extremely thick. And like object 299 and Armata, 
the chassis was to be universal. The tank was first revealed to the public in 2001 and passed the trials in 2008, with two prototypes made, but the project was cancelled in 2010. But Ural Wagonzavod said the project will not be abandoned. And five years later, we got Armata. That is it, thanks for watching. If you think I made a mistake somewhere, feel free to correct me in the comment section down below. As always, check the description for some sources. And just a quick note, I have a Discord channel. If you have some questions or you just want to chat, I will leave the link to it in the description. And that is all. I hope you enjoyed. If you learned something new or interesting, it wouldn't hurt to like the video or subscribe if you are new. And I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day.